The Rusty Spoon specializes in farm to table. I'm here with James Beard nominee, Kathleen Blake. Kathleen's invented the Dirty South. We have great seafood here in Florida. We have head on gulf shrimp clams. We do a seasonal fish, and this is golden tile. First, we're gonna season. I use a blended oil, it's extra virgin. This is gonna be for our greens. All these pans for one dish? Yes. Florida is an opposite season of everywhere else in the country. So we yes, have great tomatoes. Baby tomatoes. And then we're gonna start our clams. Saute our escarole. Toss that in. Woo! Watch yourself. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And you wanna make sure they're nice and garlicky. And then we're gonna put our fish in. Yes. It's gonna take about six minutes. We're gonna let these clams. The clams take eat. the longest? Yes. Then okay. the escarole will be very quick. Very quick. Is that local? Yes, it is. So once the fish starts to get opaque around the outside, then you go ahead and flip it with that in the oven. For about four or five minutes? Yes. This is a 500 degree oven. Those clams have now opened Starting up, to open. Some of them. You can hand me the shrimp, and then we'll add our dirty broth. Ah, the secret. It's shrimp stock, tomatoes, peanuts. Peanuts? Yes. Peanuts. Add our tomatoes. OK. Gently simmer and wait for our fish. So yes. one of the key ingredients in the base of the Dirty South is our cheesy grits. Love and you're going to add the butter. A little butter. Butter oh, a lot of butter. Butter makes everything better. Here, here. It's better with butter. Yes. Then the garlic oil afterwards. Yep. Mmm, garlic grits. The last is the pecorino. Pecorino cheese, finely yes. grated. You want to hand me the cilantro and we'll finish this dish. Creamy grits, greens. Put our clams, local Gold clams. shrimp. Yes. And the clams. Right here in Florida, yep. too. Blistered tomatoes. Add our broth. Very intimate space. Yes. I feel like we're married. Then we're going to put our fish. See how I was ready? Yes. Anticipated the use of the spatula. Our golden tile. And there you the are. The dirty south. I'm big on the grits. Great. Wonderful, wonderful broth. Can taste the peanut. This fish is fabulous. I know that you've been a leader in this farm-to-table movement. There's such a great agricultural community in Central Florida, so it's completely changed the face of Orlando from what it was 10 years ago. Well, definitely not rusty, but a very unique spoon. Is this what I try the clam sauce with? You're welcome to. We steam the clams in fish stock. As they just start to open, we add a big splash of beer, finished with a little butter, garlic, and parsley. Yeah, this is so notchy. Delicious. Good. I'm also known as the egg lady. When I moved to Orlando, I found an egg farmer. He was actually raising chickens as a hobby, and the rest was history. This is our stuffed eggs. Very eggy experience. Red Devil, and it's stuffed with herbs, some of our house pickles and pickle juice, and then a little smoked paprika creates the heat. Uh, I'm not sure what paprika does to me, but what the hell. <laughs> it's very strong. Excellent. So how would you define Rusty Spoon? Well, Rusty is for rustic because mm -hmm. I wear overalls. I yep. cook very simply. And you look good in them. Thank you. And then Spoon is a universal utensil. Right. Every culture uses a spoon. I can come to Rusty Spoon for a casual meal or... You can come and have a quick bite before you go to the Amway. Orlando yes. has come alive. The renaissance of downtown Orlando. Yes, and there's huge concerts going on just up the road. Mm -hmm. And basketball. Ooh, that paprika is getting me. <laughs> This is remodeled lasagna with mushrooms and treviso radicchio, shaved pecorino, and then sunflower sprouts and shaved baby fennel on top. And homemade pasta? Yes. The great thing about pecorino is it's got just the right amount of saltiness to it. Very interesting mushrooms, a little bit chewy. The trumpet royale mushroom is very thick, so if you're a vegetarian, it's almost like you're eating a meat. Now, when you first came to Orlando, mm -hmm. you were doing pasta, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I remember when you first came to dinner, and I remember that you were in stocking feet. You mean like that? <laughs> Every picture, everything about this place speaks to fresh ingredients. Yes. These photographs were taken by a good friend of mine of everywhere I source. This is just fabulous. I loved everything. I've got a little bit of room. Do we have any desserts? A grown-up s'more. Well, I'm not a grown-up, but I'll try to be. I love the gooeyness of marshmallow. We make the fluff here. And the saltiness. It's graham cracker and pretzel. And then a little salty brittle. Mm, I love the toffee. It's very rich, and it's perfect because it's consistent with my New Year's resolution. Keep eating. Mine is to have dessert every day. Ah. 